Hello and welcome back to Kitten Up Kitten. My name is Sam and today I am not only starting the beautiful Mackenzie's treasure which you guys have chosen, but I'm also going to be doing a giveaway. So I have already put my washi tape around my edges. I just do that to stop um, dust and hair and bits getting into the sticky bit that overlaps on the edge. Mackenzie's Treasure is a 69 by 52 centimetre canvas and it is a square. It is by Mandy Manzano for Diamond Art Club. I will put a link to this canvas in the description box. So before I go any further, I do need to make you aware that I am a Diamond Art Club affiliate. I will include a link also in the description box, which I do on every video, um, which will enable, if you haven't bought from Diamond Art Club before, it will give you a small discount. Um, if you have it and you use my link, I will earn a very small commission um, on whatever paintings you buy. That money goes towards Diamond Art Club purchases, um, not other things. Always Diamond Art Club. So I needed to be upfront about that. This is a beautiful canvas, but I do intend to make a change. Um, so the change I'm going to make is in these little lights and little dots that are hanging down on here and just here. And I'm gonna replace um, the drill that's already listed there. I think it's a, I can't see now because I've covered it over. <laughs> I think it's a white. I'm actually gonna replace it with um, an AB125, which is a cream AB. I just thought it would look quite pretty, but I'm just gonna do these sections here. Now, because this is, quite a long canvas i will be working on this this way and that's purely because um, it's easier to manage if i have it rolled up if i'm taking it to work whatever um, it's easy to put into the tube that way so um, i'm going to be working on it this way up it is 47 colours. It does not come with ABs. Um, I am just making that change because I want to highlight these little areas here. And this here, which is where her, where the unicorn's horn ends. Beautiful, beautiful canvas by Mandy Manzano. And my first square. So looking forward to doing this one. So while I get this prepped, let's go over the giveaway. Um, actually, before I do that, let me welcome anyone who's brand new. Um, I have my subscriber count recently has been jumping like there's nobody's business. Um, so let me say welcome to my channel. Um, I do mainly diamond painting content um, and I do enjoy doing the whips, the kitten up, the kitten down, that sort of thing. Um, if you are coming back, welcome back. So before I go any further, I need to um, just mention that unfortunately um, Her Majesty the Queen passed away last Thursday. Um, I am I'm not a royalist, <laughs> however, I do have a very strong interest in royal history and for a woman who has reigned for 70 years, she deserves the respect of the state funeral she is going to have. Um, I absolutely do not mind admitting that I cried on Thursday. Um, and I wanted to say, you know, thank you, Mum, for everything. So, see, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> um, so, um, I just wanted to give a nod out to the passing of our wonderful Queen and um, a warm welcome to King Charles III, as he is now known. Um, lots of changes for lots of us for the first time in so many years. My mum's birthday was on Friday um, and she just turned 70, so she's never known any other monarch. Um, so it is a massive big thing 
in history. Um, that is the reason that there was not a video from me on Thursday, um, purely out of respect for the Queen. I also will not be posting a video on um, Monday the 19th, as that is the day of the Queen's funeral. And um, I, for one, will be watching that from work. I hasten to add, because I'm working, but I will be watching that out of respect for Her Majesty the Queen. So that's that out of the way. So the giveaway, um, what is the plan with the giveaway? Let me start getting my cover papers on while I'm chatting, otherwise I'm gonna get nothing done. Um, so first of all, Mackenzie's treasure was voted by you guys. I'm gonna lay these papers across this way. I do like to overlap them a bit because um, it makes it easy to pick them up. I just want to see how many across I can get. I do prefer to work um, in a long, narrow strip rather than the other way round. But very often I do end up having them the other way round when we get near the end. So I'll just do this. So the giveaway, I said that when I got to um, 500 subscribers, I would do a giveaway. Um, I've actually decided to have three separate giveaway prizes as such um so i need to say first of all that everything that has gone in that giveaway box i haven't i've only actually paid for for a couple of items in there um so i can tell you there are two diamond paintings um there is also um some other craft related items in the main giveaway box um there are some resin items just bits and bobs just bits and bobs really um now it is quite a hefty box <laughs> um and as i said this is open to everybody wherever you are so um yeah, it's it's a nice biggish box for that main present, that main gift. So that's my cover papers on. Um, the other two will be much smaller and um, will consist of resin items. Um, just because I wanted to be able to give away more than one. So here's how it's going to go. This is going to take place on this whip. So I may not be doing comments, questions, etc. Um, so what will happen is during the course of this video there will be some images coming up on the screen and all you need to do to take part in this giveaway is to tell me what the last one is what's the last image that flashes up during the course of this video and what you need to do then is to comment on this video not any others um you need to comment what that last thing is okay it's that simple um so during the course of the video you will see these little images flashing up um there's a couple of different ones it could be a picture it could be an animation it could be a word i want to know what is the last thing that comes up on this video and you just need to comment below on this video and um, your name will go into a draw um, and I will pull three winners randomly from that. So let me just make sure I'm nice and square. So that is that setup. I also have my drills, obviously, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fetch down my one two five i don't have masses of them but i have a few but they're like a creamy white color rather than a stark white just thought it would look really pretty with these colors so i'm actually going to pop these oh no i'm not because i've already done it more than i thought there we go i've already done it i just haven't labeled it ahead of myself you see i'm ahead of myself um so yes this week has been a little bit emotional for me um i am a bit of a, a sop and uh, i have been fervently wa watching the news uh bbc news 
to get those updates so we have got Mackenzie's treasure ready to go now usually I would turn this canvas upside down and work on the first couple of rows um, but because I am filming I'm actually just going to rest it on here and do you know what I found this mat is very very good for not letting a canvas slide away which I really really like so let's prep this first square. Now, of course, I could, I'm just gonna do a small section, not a massive one. Um, I could, um, I forgot what I was gonna say. So let's pull that bit down here. Might do a slightly bigger section than that, actually. What was I gonna say? I could lay these neatly to start with um and then i wouldn't have to to move these about but actually i don't mind um i just tend to do it i just tend to straighten it up as i'm working it's just the way that i've always worked so there is our first section revealed so of course this whip and ramble will be on this so i won't be doing questions today i may refer to questions that i've seen because of course i do see them um what else have we got so i've got my bottle storage which is a 60 bottle case i'm going to use this pen today because it recently had new tape in it and it's got a six placer on which is my preferred placer for around painting i am going to get my white add more zest tray um i haven't even got a cook pot ready right let's get rid of that so i'm going to use my oh i've got about four million magnets on this one okay so i'm going to use my blue glittery cook pot it is my favorite so i'm going to pop that on there and we will then be ready to start diamond painting um where is my pen rest i think it's on one of my other canvases actually no okay lost my pen rest somewhere never mind it's not a biggie i'm not i'm not too worried um this mat actually holds them quite close so give me a second i will be back okay so let's make a start on mackenzie's treasure um this was the winning vote um and Oh, I've got something stuck under my wheel. Um, it came down to this one and um, Corgi Nights. Um, so I did use, I'm sorry if my light's moving, I've got cables in the way. Um, I did use the Tiny Decisions app um, to um, choose which one was winning. So let's make a start on the black first because I always do the black first on a Mandy Manzano. Um, beautiful, beautiful canvas. I've had this for a while. Um, and I, I was pleased. I would have been pleased with either. Um, I haven't had a bad experience with Dreamer Designs. Actually, I'm using, why am I using a six placer? I'd usually only use a four on, on a square. Um, but hey, we'll, we'll stick with it now. I'm using it now. So it has been a strange week, but let's bring you up to date on what is happening diamond painting wise. Um, I will, by the time you've seen this video, have just put up the second part of the Heaven and Earth kitting up. Um, I did go over and visit the lovely Penny at Calb Sparkles. And we did do a drill exchange, although the drills that I gave her did not come anywhere near the drills that she gave me. Um, she has given me enough 310 <laughs> to do my whole canvas. So very, very grateful for that. Um, I have made a start on my heaven and earth design just because I couldn't wait. So there will be a whip coming up on that one very, very soon. 
um, I was very excited just purely because of the the poured glue canvas I was over the moon with that and it is the first time that I'm actually working by sectioning off the plastic but it makes it a lot easier to do it that way than to do it with the cover papers so that's why I've decided to go with that um, in other news um, let me think I do have some canvases come in I have two come in I actually have three come in from Diamond Art Club um, but one of them is a gift for my mum I might unbox it anyway if she lets me um, that's purely because with the events of last week I completely forgot until the last minute that it was her birthday and with it being her 70th I felt very 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 guilty <laughs> so I have brought her a canvas from Diamond Art Club and um, she always enjoys getting one um, she is a pensioner and because she lives with me she doesn't get extra pension credit or anything like that she literally just gets her pension so um, I always enjoy buying her something like that um, I need to be a bit more on the ball for Christmas though um, so I have got three come in from there um, I um, will be completely honest with you um, the two that I have bought for myself are both Mandy Manzano pieces and both of them came out of either the sale section on Diamond Art Club aeroplane going over so we've got an aeroplane going over and I've got the dishwasher going so we're doing well um, yeah they both come from the sales section um, I was going to purchase um, from the drop that happened on Saturday however the one that I really wanted was totally out of my price range the best will in the world I cannot afford to pay a hundred pounds for a canvas I can't I cannot justify that amount of money so I decided to go on the hunt I managed to find two Mandy Manzano pieces to put back into my stash which I'm really pleased about um, I also have two come in from a brand new company um, so um, I will go over that when they arrive but they shouldn't be too long they should be here before the Diamond Art Club ones are oh we're saying that I don't know because I don't know if they're in stock or whether they're printed to order but anyway um, either way I've got at least four coming um, so on top of that with the uh, with the giveaway happening um, I am gonna set a limit on when you can enter the giveaway so I believe today is the 11th of or no it's not it's the 12th of September so you have from now until the or from when this video goes up should I say until the last day of September to uh, to take part in that giveaway and um, I will go I will um, do a video on the last day of September which will go up on the 1st of October and that video will have the draw and the winning names on it and then all you will need to do is to email me at kittenupkitten at gmail.com and tell me where you are so I can send out your goodie box. It's quite hard actually putting a goodie box together. Um, but um, one of the benefits of doing the PR packages is that I do get diamond paintings um, for free for unboxing. Um, sometimes, you know, they won't be my style. Um, but I have also included a diamond painting that I did purchase so don't think it's all free stuff it's not some of the items I have actually bought and put in um, I do have to be careful 
on um, what I put in because of the weight. Um, but I'm willing to cover that cost for this giveaway as a thank you to all of you that have um, continued to watch with me. Um, for those of you that are new coming in. And um, like I said in a previous video, if the stuff in that goodie box is stuff that you don't need, please do take part still because I would like you to pass it on to somebody else. We all know somebody who would benefit from those sort of items. So, you know, pass it on to someone. You know, you don't have to keep it. You don't have to use it. Um, but some of it is stuff that has come from my resin business. Some of it is stuff that I've just got lots of. Um, some of it is stuff that I've been given. Um, but there is at least one diamond painting, which I've bought. Um, I do need to point out that it is not a diamond art club painting, however. Um, so, uh, so yeah, that's with the giveaway. So just keep an eye out for those images popping up. So the only images that will be popping up will be ones that count for the giveaway. So anything else, that sh there's nothing else going up there. I'm not going to put any other things on there. Um, so that's my black done. So far, it looks lovely. So what am I going to do next? So I'm going to start in this corner and I'm going to get this little symbol here. I've got my glasses perched on top of my head because they were steaming up and I can't see. Oh, it's a nine. I wondered what that was then. It's not that. You want the symbol nine, Sam. So this is where, there we go. This is where I get all confuzzled because it's on the side, of course. So here's my tip if you are working on a canvas the wrong way around. Pop your pot the same way that you are reading the symbols. And that way you won't get confused. Is my tape going to be stupidly sticky now? Ugh. Okay, let me just find a four placer. Do you know what? Let's just switch the pen over. I'll just use this one. So I've just gone back to using my my favourite pen. I was using this yesterday on um, Alice, my Alice picture. Um, I have only got four little sections. Oh, got a drill there with a hole in the top. Um, oh, it really does not want to let go on there. Just making sure the canvas is sticky. It is. I think it's my pen. It's not the um, canvas. Um, he does not want to let go. What was I saying? Um, yeah, I took my Alice to work this weekend. I had a very pleasant weekend at work. Um, it was very quiet, which I like, which meant I got diamond painting done. I was watching the procession of the Queen's funeral. Um, it was the drive from Balmoral to Edinburgh. Um, so I had that on all day. And um, yeah, just worked around it. To be honest, um, I will say this is an older kit, so I think these may be the older drills. I'm not 100%. Actually, let me see if I can tilt it. Oh, I don't know, actually. I'm trying to see if I can see. It's quite hard to see sometimes. I don't know, actually. I might be wrong. <sighs> Issues with this pen. Oh, my God. It's going to be one of those whips. There we go. Anyway, how are you? I hope you're all well. Um, plans for the next few videos. I do have at least two kitten ups that I can do. Um, I want to wait on one of them and see what turns up in the next few days. 
Uh, storage wise, I haven't bought any more new storage because I've got plenty. There we go. We got there in the end. It was just my wax in my pen. Um, however, um, I still had not received my Elizabeth Ward knockoff set from Huacan, which I was really disappointed about. I reached out to them twice to ask them um, where it was, when it was going to be coming. Um, never received anything back. So um, in the end, I did open a dispute and I did ask for a refund, which I got yesterday. In the meantime, um, I went on to, I think these are the old drills. Um, I went on to um, AliExpress and bought a different one from Evershine. Um, it did cost me a little bit more. Um, so I'm really annoyed that I got given this voucher from who I can to buy this cheaper um, box and it just never arrived. Um, so I'm a little bit annoyed. Like I said, that's got a tab on it. Who I can is not my favourite company, I have to say. And I'm, I'm annoyed because the last time I brought a, um, a tray from there, it arrived very quickly. So, yes, not best pleased. Um, but that is on its way, so I will have another one of those. Now, if you are watching, I am currently single placing. So I'm doing the step method because I find that's a good way of keeping my drills straight. Um, I'm just interested to see how this ends up because I've never done a square Mandy Manzano before. Let me try multi-placing on those and just see how that... Oh, I dropped one anyway. Helpful. Um, so, yes, I do now have another Elizabeth Ward style. Let's give that a bit of a dab. Um, Elizabeth Ward style um, storage box coming. Um... I have been back to work. I have now sorted out my wages issue. Um, so I was pleased when I went in um, that it was a nice quiet weekend because I needed that. Um, don't cope with stress very well, I have to say. Um, but I am off work today and tomorrow. However, um, Tuesdays now is my day to have my granddaughter, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, it was something I'd always planned to do for when my daughter went back to work, but because her partner um, is a stay-at-home dad, um, he has my granddaughter while my daughter works. She has just changed her job, however, and because the rotor has changed, it means that um, I don't work Tuesdays so instead of doing what I would normally do and choosing to, to fill that Tuesday with nail clients or you know videos or resin I've decided to take a Tuesday as my one full day off a week I am going to take my daughter to school I'm going to go and pick my granddaughter up and I'm going to have her for the day and then I will return her before I pick my daughter up from school in the afternoons. So it just get, means that I get to spend some decent quality time with her. Because she's coming up for two. She'll be two in December. She's developed this really cheeky little personality. And I really want to spend time with her, build that bond and um, just get to you know, experience having a little one around again, because I do miss it. Okay, so I'm actually looking for number one. Again, it was it was on its side. I only need a couple, so I've poured out far too many for that. Um, so that's what's going on there. Um, my husband has just brought the spacers 
to start building the summer house, which is fabulous. So looking forward to that because um, that will be the first step towards getting my business rebuilt. Um, it is picking up already. Um, last week I was quite busy nail wise. This week I don't have any. I have nothing in. But I'm not too worried because um, I think I might have someone in on. Because I'm off this weekend. Have I got someone in this weekend? I can't remember if I have. If I haven't, then I will be summer house building <laughs> with the husband. Um, but, um, yeah, we can get a start on that. So, just trying to plan my days out. Um, I have got another order on Etsy that I need to box up. Um, so, I will be doing that later. And currently, the reason for doing this whip and ramble now is because Pepper is at the groomers. I dropped her off this morning. So, I need to pick her up normally takes two hours so I've got to pick her up at half eleven it's currently 20 past ten but I wanted to get this up so that I wanted to get this up ASAP because um, obviously I'm doing the giveaway on there so the plan is that this video will go up today it may um, it may shoot ahead of the second part of the Heaven and Earth kitting up. Oh, just dropped my pen on my tray. Off to a good start. So that was the reasoning between before by not doing comments today. Um, so when I went over to see Penny at Cow Sparkles, um, we did have a good old natter, as always. Um, I do have a few things that I need to get on I need to get on and do a resin pour because I haven't done that yet um, I have people waiting <laughs> for cover minders um, I also have something interesting that was not my idea it was actually one of my subscribers brilliant idea not going to reveal what it is um, but all I will say is um, it can be done with an existing product already I'm just going to get rid of this oh no it's gone back in I had a bit of trash there but it's gone back in um, it can be used with an existing product I already produce but I'm looking at making a specific one um, it may take me a little while to source what I need so let's look for this arrow. So it's a left facing arrow, which is that one. Um, but thank you to that subscriber. She knows who she is. Brilliant idea. Brilliant. So um, looking forward to uh, having a go at that. I just need to find what I need or convert what I already have. That's all I'm going to say on the subject. So let's go to last Thursday. So here's what happened. My niece had contacted me on Wednesday to see if I could do her nails. My niece is heavily pregnant. She's not like pop to burst right now, but she's pretty big. Um, and um, I'd said to her, look, I'm off all day on Thursday. Um, I can do it then. So I had some other bits and pieces to do. Um, I, did, I went over and saw Penny and we did the drill exchange, which was fabulous because it now means I can get a bit more done. I had started my Heaven and Earth and I'd run out of a colour. So um, I actually had to leave a section not done and I hate doing that. But thanks to Penny, I have a few more. And on the heaven and earth subject, um, thank you so much to everybody who has said, I will send you drills. Um, I will. Um, if um, you would like to help out, then please email me and I will send you a list of what I need. But please, 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 if you're going to help me with drills, can I please pay for the postage? 
I will feel awful if people are spending money to send me drills. Um, I'm not overly bothered if I don't because I will be working on diamond paintings between getting that done anyway. So I will get drills as I'm going. I do not need masses of 310 now because Penny's already given me hers. So thank you, Penny. Very, very, very much appreciated, along with the other bits and pieces that um, I came home with. <laughs> I've never come back yet without something. So, um, yeah, thank you. Huge thank you to Penny. Um, but if you do, email me. Just, just email me and I will let you know. But I don't want to do a whole please send me drills thing. The, the point of the heaven and earth was to use my spares. So it's not me being awkward, I promise. It is more a case of the, the achievement of doing a project like that using leftover stuff. It's that recycling issue, isn't it? So um, thank you to everyone who has offered. Please do just email me and I'll email you back as soon as possible. Um, anyway, so I did. I went and saw Penny in the morning. I went home. Um, I put my drills away that she'd brought me, so I filled up my case with the ones that I needed. That's that colour done. And um, then I got ready to do my niece's nails. Now, in the meantime, my husband was off work as well. He came home, because I'd been at Penny's, I hadn't heard anything. He came home and said, you know, are you aware that the doctors have issued a statement saying they're concerned about the Queen's health. And I said, no. So instantly I was like, right, what's happening? What have you seen? What's going on? Blah, 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 blah. And my, in the meantime, my niece turned up with my sister-in-law. So I'm going to do these twos next. Beautiful 154. I love this colour. Um, and at some point he came in and said, um, the royal family... Um, are flying to Balmoral to be with the Queen. And at that point, I knew it wasn't good. I knew it wasn't good. Um, during the course, at this point, he then puts on BBC News. And uh, my niece was feeling a little bit sick. <laughs> so... Um, once he'd sort of said that they were travelling up to Balmoral, I knew it was not going to be good news. And do you know what? I'm absolutely like most of us in the UK. The Queen was 96. And anybody who saw the photos on Tuesday of her meeting the new Prime Minister could immediately tell that she was very, very frail. Very frail. Um, I am a firm believer that our wonderful Queen has literally been going downhill since the minute Philip died. She is, I think, proof that when a couple are together, as long as they had been, it is not unusual for a spouse to follow another after the first spouse's death. And, you know, that's just testament to the love that they had for each other. So that's the way that I try to look at it. However, when they announced, I'm still doing my niece's nails, when they announced that the Queen had passed away, I am not going to um, be too bothered to tell you that I did cry. Um, I was crying. My niece was crying. And... Um, I'm sitting there filing her nails, <laughs> going, your nails are going to be crap. Um, you know, devastated, absolutely devastated at the loss of such a wonderful woman. And, um, yeah. But, of course, um, I was upset for most of Thursday and most of Friday. I went back to work Friday morning. Um, I immediately found a image of the Queen and um, printed that off and laminated it to display in the reception area and um, yeah then immediately turned to 
the fascination of having a new king and all the pomp that comes with it. One second. Sorry, I had to stop them because my mum is about to go up into town, into our local town, and I'm um, sure you know if I needed anything. And um, I was like, yes, yes, please, can you pick my tablets up? Because <laughs> I need to do that. Um, I have no idea what I was talking about. I was talking about the Queen, wasn't I? Um, so, yes, um, the historian in me, I absolutely love history and I love royal history. Um, so I'm one of them people, you know, when things like this happen, so my husband's like, right, so uh, Charles isn't the Prince of Wales anymore. And I'm like, no, he will be king. He automatically becomes king on the on the death of the Queen. Um and then I was like, obviously, it's up to the king now if he gives Prince of Wales to William. But I don't think that will happen until after the coronation. I was wrong. <laughs> he did it immediately, which is fabulous because I think to have the first official Princess of Wales be Catherine is a good move. Um, because obviously... There was a lot of ill feeling towards Camilla because of Princess Diana, who was the last official Princess of Wales. But what you have to remember is Prince Charles is not the first royal Prince of Wales to cause a scandal. I'm not even lying here. Queen Victoria, her son, was forced to marry somebody because he was such a playboy. And he continued to do that for, for years. Um, it's not, you know, one of Queen Victoria's children, um, they thought was the the um, the Ripper at one point. He was in the running for that. There's, there's always scandal. But since Diana's death, the way that Charles did what he did for Diana... He insisted that she had a public funeral, which, you know, by royal right, she wasn't entitled to. The way that he brought those boys up and the fact that Camilla herself didn't use a title that she was allowed to use once she married the Prince of Wales out of respect for Diana. So let's give them their due. Um, I think Charles will be a good king. He's had a long, long apprenticeship with the best monarch that this country has ever had. And I have no doubt that um, his vision of a slimmed down monarchy is a good thing. Um, we will never see the like of Queen Elizabeth again. Not in my lifetime. Um, she was a phenomenal, phenomenal woman. So, um, yes, um, yesterday um, I shed a little tear when we first saw her coffin coming out of Balmoral. Um, oh, get me multi-place in five, but I've lined it up wrong. <laughs> now I'm going to have to move them all. Um, yes, I did shed a tear. No, that's the wrong one. Sam, what are you doing? It's this one. Let's move. What have I done? Okay, that's right. See, moment of doubt, moment of doubt. That was a nice click, though. Um, yeah, I'm sure that he will be a fabulous king. And obviously, I have been watching the footage because it's the first time that a lot of this handover stuff has been televised. So I will not apologise for the fact that I haven't actually watched much YouTube. Um, in the last few days, I have been incessantly watching the news um, because I find it interesting. And um, yeah, what a, an amazing woman she was. Absolutely amazing. And uh, yeah, it's it's weird 
for the UK, for, for as British people. You know, we've only ever known the Queen. And um, it's going to take some getting used to. Um, I referred to Charles as Prince Charles yesterday. <laughs> it's getting getting strange. The one thing I don't like is the fact that they have stated we have gone from the second Elizabethan age, which it would have been under Elizabeth, to the Carolean. Doesn't sound so nice, does it? However, I, you know, I hope that Prince Charles has a a decent reign. Obviously, it's not going to be as long as his mother's because he's already, is he 74 or 73, something like that. He's older than my dad anyway. Or is he the same age as my dad? Might be the same age. But anyway, um, I wish him all the best. And um, yeah, long may he reign over us. Right, where's V? There we go, 890. Just going to get these few in. So that is that on the royal family. Um, but I will be, I will be watching on Monday the 19th for the funeral. Um, I wouldn't go as far as to uh, travel to London or anything though. It's absolutely packed at the minute. Um, I did, however, leave an entry on the online book of condolence. They do have a book of condolence in the local town where I am. Um, but again, you know, yes, it will go down in posterity, but so will, so will that online book. So I've signed that one. So, uh, yeah, end of an era, pretty much. Right, cannot get that one in there. Um, update on this mat, on this desk mat. And I do hope the, the little pop-up pictures aren't too distracting, but, you know, it's to win something. Um, yeah, this desk mat, um, I've got used to it now. Um, and it does look nicer. However, when when I do move this desk into the summer house when it's finally built, won't be for a while yet. Please do shout at me if I keep going on about something that's not going to happen for months. <laughs> Feel free to, to shout me down and go, Sam, shut the hell up, it's not ready. Um, but I will be doing an, uh, a resin pour onto this desktop when I move into the summer house. That is the plan. And I will then have a brand new desk that my husband is going to build me. And he is also going to um, make, um, get a setup for some decent lights. Although I'm not looking forward to that because the one I've got is, is warm enough. No idea how much warmer it's going to be. So what else has been going on? on so my daughter has now started sixth form she is very happy so that is good uh, my mother is now 70 not sure she's so happy about that but we did celebrate her birthday I went out and got flowers and cards and we had Chinese for tea that evening so she did that's what she wanted to do I did offer to take her out for a meal but she didn't want to so um I'm guessing she's at an age now that she gets to choose. These are looking very, very nice, I have to say. Um, so, yes, current whips. I have two Mandy Manzanos on the go at once. Oh, it's such a hard life <laughs> being a diamond painter. Um, I do want to do a whip on Alice because I have only got four sections to do on that. So I will do, there will be an extra whip on that one. And I do also want to do um, a whip on my heaven and earth. So you can see the start of that. Um, I, can, I can honestly say it is so much easier on poured glue. So much easier. And because the lines on the canvas are darker for the 10 and the 5 mark, um, I don't need to faff about with marking washi tape where it is and all that sort of stuff. It's very easy to work on. So I will be doing that as well. Um, and I did also um, print out the sheets and the, the things I'm going to use for the labels for my other project. I might give you a sneak peek of that, but not until the Heaven and Earth one. 
because you know I can't give you too much at once can I um absolutely over the moon with the amount of subscribers I've got now it is jumping so quickly so if you are considering doing YouTube because I did have somebody ask me do you know what I say go for it um there are lots and lots of professional YouTubers who do an amazing job I hasten to add um, but lots of times what I found is the things that people like about me is because I'm down to earth there's no airs and graces I'm normal um, and that isn't going to change that is just me but um, yes I could be more professional I could be saying okay this is a square drill canvas and I am going to use my six multiplacer it's not me I don't I don't do that <laughs> so um, people just want exactly what I've said before it's somebody to spend your diamond painting time with and people bloody aeroplanes though that's what I mean you see not if you live in the general vicinity so these these are the areas that I think that this is worse for Lincolnshire um, Cambridgeshire and possibly parts of Northamptonshire and it's mainly because they do the the jet trainer fight uh, the jet fighter training above the skies of the fens it's a bloody nightmare and they're so loud and it goes on for so long and if I stopped filming every time they did this I'd never get any bloody filming done see it's so loud um, and here's me saying to you all, you know, I live in this semi-rural area because it's quieter. <laughs> Joke's on me. However, I will also say you do also get some amazing birds to watch. We very often have red kites flying above the house, which is always wonderful to see because they're so big and so graceful. So, um, yeah. If you live in those areas, Lincolnshire, Cambridgeshire, you know, the, the Fenlands, they do love flying over, don't they? Anyway, right, so I'm going to go to this little egg timer. Um, what else is going on? Um, see, it's coming back. They just literally go around in loops. They just fly around in loops. It gets quite annoying. Um, so, yeah, um, anyone that is starting YouTube, just do it. Do you know what I mean? The only way you're going to find out if it's something that you enjoy is by trying it. And I do enjoy it because it gives me... Number one, I love diamond painting anyway. Because of my lifestyle, I don't get a lot of time to do large amounts of diamond painting this is why it takes me a while to go through especially bigger canvases but by having the youtube channel or by having you guys to produce content for i have an excuse <laughs> to turn around to my husband and say yeah i really should make that bed and hoover that floor um but i really need to do a video for youtube and it gives me the perfect out to have an hour <laughs> of diamond painting because I'm doing it for you, you know. Not not for me, I'm doing it for you. But that then gives me the opportunity to sit for an hour and just diamond paint. The difference being that instead of me sitting and watching somebody else diamond painting or listening to it rather, um, I'm just talking to you while I'm doing it. And that's the thing, sometimes, especially during the week, um, when I'm doing my whips is the only time I get to diamond paint. That is the God's honest truth. So um, I really enjoy it. And just be yourself, you know. Um, what do you like watching? That's the way I've done it. I, I give the content that I enjoy watching now I don't watch a lot of unboxings um if I go to if I see a canvas and I like it 
I may search on Google, on um, YouTube for it in case someone has unboxed it and I'll watch it then. But I don't routinely watch lots of unboxings. Um, it is mainly, for me, kitting up, kitting downs, whipping chats. Um, especially if they're, they're heaven and earth ones or if there's something a bit different. But usually I'm watching it because I just want some company while I'm diamond painting. So that's the type of content. <laughs> Here it comes back again. Swear to God, I'm going to contact the RAF and tell them that if that guy hasn't successfully completed his training by now, they should give up. Not really. But it is annoying. Could you imagine how many times has that aeroplane come over? So, I do feel a bit strange actually doing a whip and ramble and not having your comments. But, um, I'm hoping like you guys will be watching this one as opposed to just listening because you're going to want to take part in that giveaway. Um, very interesting point actually. Every, the, the giveaway is open to everybody, you know, regardless of where you are, because you're worth it. You know, that expense of shipping it out anywhere in the world, I feel you guys have earned just by coming back. So please don't feel you can't take part. If it's stuff that you don't like, um, if it's stuff that you don't need, then please reach out to somebody that you know who may just be starting. I don't even think that's a seven, you know. It says it's a six, but I picked up way more than six then. Um, yeah, reach out to somebody else. Maybe there is another YouTuber that you follow that maybe doesn't have a lot of money and would appreciate a couple of free canvases. You know, don't not take part because um, I'm here because of you guys. Plain and simple. Right, let me just go and... I'm just going to go and wash these bits up that I've got and then I'll be back. One second. It will be a second for you because then um, obviously I can just pause. Okay, so that's done. See, life of a normal person. Still got to do the washing up. Even though I've got a dishwasher, figures. Right, so F is 3371. <coughs> so I didn't want to do um, questions and stuff on this whip just because I was doing the giveaway. Um, I will um, go through some of them when I do the Alice whip, which I will be filming in a little while. I just want to get this one filmed and up. Mainly... Um, trying to think of anything else that I've seen that's cropped up. I did have somebody ask me about um, working with crystals. Um, I had to be honest and say, do you know what? I started that crystal picture and I've literally done a bit of it. Um, and the problem that I have is it gives me a headache. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know whether it's just the 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 drills or you know because they're glossier and they shine I don't know what it is but it just gives me a headache so I can only do a little bit at a time so that's why I haven't done a um whip and ramble on it because I can only do a bit at a time so I am going to get it finished because um I've started it now so I've got to finish it but um whether I'd buy any others I don't think so I mean you know I've, I've ordered um, a diamond painting before and it's had special drills in it um, I would still do those but I think a full gem picture probably not it's not my thing so I can't help on that um, other than people have told me to use a crayon or one of the wax pens that nail techs use 
which I do have somewhere. But I think it's in a box. I tend to use a... I actually use an old diamond painting pen to put crystals on when I'm doing nails. So I just use the pink wax because <laughs> it works really well for that. So I do have a use for the pink wax. I just don't use a lot of it. Um, so this is this whip started. Um, but I do want to get I Miss You finished. So my plan is to get those last four sections on um, the Alice picture done because that will be that finished and then I can concentrate, I can kit that down and I can then concentrate on I Miss You to get that finished so we can then have another vote for the next round canvas which I always look forward to. So yeah, a little bit of a, a more, less structured whip and ramble. Um, but the rate it's going, my goal was always to get to a thousand. <clears throat> I've said this before. Um, was it ever my intention to um, earn money from doing this? No, not really. Um, but... Um, it is a fact that I will start to generate revenue at some point if I continue getting subscribers the way that I am. So, um, of course, I'm not going to turn it down. Who wouldn't want to get paid for doing something you love? You know, if I could figure out a way to offer a kitchen up service <laughs> that didn't cost a bloody fortune, I'd do it. I could do that all day long. Um, so having, you know, generating revenue from the YouTube channel is the next best thing. So of course I won't say no. Um, it is just managing my time. You know, I am quite busy. I don't get as much time. I wish I did. I wish I had the time to diamond paint all the time. But unfortunately, like most of you, that is not a possibility. I actually saw somebody, there's somebody that I work with that um, I was talking to yesterday and um, I took some of my old canvases in for a couple of residents because they've been doing diamond painting and um, they'd asked me to bring in some canvases so I took a selection and she was sort of saying she only works on really, really big ones like two metres by 150 centimetre type things. Um, that she gets from Wish or Amazon. And she was sort of saying, I'd, I'd got a couple of my little ones, and she was like, I'd do that in a day. And I'm like, I wish I had the time <laughs> to do a 50 by 60 diamond painting in a day, but I just don't. I mean, obviously, I went on holiday and managed to get an awful lot done. I did get a lot of diamond painting done, but that's a one-off. You know, it doesn't happen often. Because I do have other things going on. But I enjoy nothing more than doing the whip and rambles when I have the time. And it, you know, it gives me the time to, to just sit back and relax a bit. It just means that the lack of time means that I do then have to focus what spare time I do have on getting content made which I don't mind I enjoy that bit of it too and then to see you know people's comments and watching that subscribe account grow is I might have to sort out my let me find some tweezers I'm just going to turn this um, tape around in my single placer because it's not very sticky so I'm just going to pop it out. This particular pen nib isn't very deep. It's quite a shallow one. So um, it pushes in sometimes, but I think it's at its limit. I shall probably find that it's too sticky now. Nice little click there. But thank you for everyone that voted for this one. I do, you know, I love Amanda Manzano. Um, I'm hoping that you're going to love the images that I've got from the 
new company that I've gone to, I can tell you that one of them is a Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Um, fell in love with it. Um, and they are both square drill. Um, because if I'm if I'm doing a a new company, I want to see what their square drills are like. If their square drills are good, their round drills will probably be absolutely fine. Because it is a lot harder to get square drills right. Um, I didn't go, I was able to choose sizes. I didn't go for the biggest size on either of them. I went for a little bit smaller because... Um, I do have quite a lot of really big paintings, so um, I went for a slightly smaller size, but very much looking forward to receiving those. So I'm nearly at the end of this whip and rumble. I hope that you've enjoyed it today. Um, I hope that you have been able to find all of those images that I was mentioning. So to end it, Literally, I've just picked that drill back up again. That wasn't helpful. Let's put that back in. Um, to end it, please don't forget, you need to comment with what the last image on this video is. Okay? So it will be the last image that pops up during the course of this video. So you just comment below with what that image is and... You have until the 30th of September to put your answer and I will then, let's say 12 o'clock um, Greenwich Mean Time for you to put your answer on and I will then enter everybody who is correct into the draw for one of those three prizes. So the big one which has the selection of diamond painting and other craft related items or the two smaller ones which will they will definitely be diamond painting related um, so there will be three and that's it first section on Mackenzie's treasure done loving the fact they're darker colours on this edging because obviously I'm so used to Mandy Mazzano being being those very vibrant bright colours and that has finished just in time for me to get ready to go and pick the dog up from the groomers so thank you so much for watching today I hope that you've managed to, to figure out which is the last image um, any questions please pop it below this video um, hello to everybody who is new hello again to everybody who is not and um, I will be back very soon with another video. But that is the first one on Mackenzie's Treasure by Mandy Manzano from Diamond Art Club. Don't forget, links, etc. will be in the description box as will the code um, to go to Diamond Art Club if you should need it. Thank you for joining me. It is, as always, over and out from this kitten up kitten. Bye-bye.